Hey there friends, Nibs again. Out here in the garage tonight, doing a little bit of goofing around, doing a little bit of tinkering around, and I wanted to bring you a brand new, uh, not even on his website yet, product from Terry over at Buckrail. Uh, he has uh, innovated again, and uh, if you guys have watched my channel for any amount of time, or maybe you haven't, uh, I am a very big aficionado of the 22 pump action uh, rim fire. <clears throat> Here's a couple of ones from my collection. Just uh, kind of randomly grabbed a couple. I have uh, one whole uh, gun cabinet that's strictly uh, for these. But uh, these uh, pump action 22s allow you to cycle like this. So when you're firing, you can just fire, 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 and uh, really pretty cool. So uh, this one is a Premier, which was actually made by Mossberg back in the uh, 1930s. This other one's even cooler, I think. This one is a Savage model 1903, and... Uh, Actually has a bolt hold open with the mag in there, but once you take the mag out, you can cycle it very similar. So again, seven round magazine, you can pump, 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 and uh, don't lose this magazine. But uh, So I have been collecting these for a long, long time. I have quite a few. <laughs> But uh, that's a Savage Model 1903. But what Terry has come up with, and I don't see anything else. I mean, I guess there was a BB gun back uh, Crossman came out with. It was a pump action. But this is pretty cool. So uh, what we have here is, this is my uh, Hatsan Jet 2. And he also has this for the Jet 1, so if you have a Jet 1, you can get this as well. But uh, what we have here is a, instead of having your cocking handle, which is still sitting right here, you can convert your Hatsan Jet or Jet 2 over to utilizing a pumping handle. <laughs> so and it really really pumps very nicely but uh, let's go ahead and uh, load up this magazine <clears throat> well let me tell you about about the mod first here um, so a couple things you, the, you you're gonna have to take your scope off because uh, you have to take this top plate off right here um, to get to where that handle fits in there uh, utilizes the same pins that the cocking handle does uh, the, there's I think one pin that doesn't come that you don't reuse and you actually have to reuse his maybe it's two or he this is already assembled this piece here is already assembled so you just need this one pin right here that's uh, to the top of this once you get this all on there very simple installation though um, the only thing is uh, if you're really fond of having some side accessories you have to there's a little piece of picatinny thing that goes right here and you have to lose that for this to operate properly so but let's go ahead and load up this magazine and we will take a few shots with it like I said uh, at this moment uh, it's the 10th of 9th or 10th of October 9th I believe uh, it is still not listed on his website uh, I do know in talking with him behind the scenes he is he is having some technical difficulties with one of his new high-end machines so he's gotten behind a little bit Definitely working towards getting that backlog uh, eased up, so I'm sure that doesn't help getting these new products out to market real quick. 
he did post up a uh, little short video on Instagram a week or two ago, uh, kind of showing this, and I contacted him uh, behind the scenes and said, hey, I'd like to try that and demonstrate it on my channel too, so they went ahead and sent it over to me. But uh, again, you uh, pull the handle back, put your magazine in like you normally would, and then fire away. <laughs> Rounds go quick in these pump actions, just like my 22s, but uh, I do like that. You can just pump and pump and pump. I, I do love a pump action 12 gauge too. I have a Remington 870. I've had several others. I've had a Mossberg 500 and a few others like that as well. Right now I currently only have a 870, but if you've got an 870, I don't know where you need anything else. So. <laughs> So it is a really, really pretty uh, cool and innovative product. Terry's always thinking outside the box. One thing he's going to be coming out with soon is a chronograph built into one of his suppressors. <laughs> so can't wait to get my hands on that um, it will be uh, actually able to be adapted onto one of his modular suppressors just like this that will uh, it will replace this first module here with a chronograph module then you can not have the baffles on there and just shoot it without them or you can add baffles back on there and uh, still enjoy the uh, the quietness of the silencer but uh, let's let's run through one more mag and then we'll uh, we'll get out of here <laughs> and that would be the last one no eight rounds <laughs> I miscounted but there you go. That is really, really nice. I can't tell. It looks like that might be. He's got the new uh, sintered laser uh, printer now. Uh, and uh, he's putting out a lot of products with that. That's what that looks like that may be made out of. Uh, that does give you a lot stronger print. Uh, and you definitely need something like that for... Uh, bars that take a lot of stress like that right there but uh, I think that's going to be a great great product for his uh... I will leave the link down in the description uh, you can go over there and check out his page like I said as of right now he doesn't have those listed but I'm sure he will soon he's got tons of other great stuff though for just about any air gun you can think of uh, very budget friendly stuff. Uh, I got stuff for the Notos, the Jet, uh, all the Air Venturi Avenger, the uh, Origin, <laughs> the, well, you can't get it anymore, but uh, Crossman stuff, <laughs> that Crossman stuff. But anyway, go ahead and check out Terry. Tell him Nib sent you if you do go over there and talk to him. Till next time, have a great day.